Okay, now let's talk about commission, which commission is really the exact same idea as sales tax because uh, generally whenever people work on commission, let's say that they are um, a car salesman or or uh, something like that they get a certain percentage well let's go to real estate because that's probably the, the one that we have to all will deal with at some point in our lives um, generally a real estate agent makes a certain percentage of the sale of the house so and that's how they get paid they don't get paid hourly or weekly or anything like um, you know any other type of job so let's say that they make five percent that's their commission rate well, what happens then is whenever you sell your house, 5% of that total cost or that total price of the house is how much your real estate agent is going to get paid. Now, they also have fees that go out of that, and they're, sometimes they have to share it with another real estate agent. But this is the idea of how people on commission get paid. That's why they have to sell a certain amount each month, because if they don't sell enough, if they don't sell anything, they don't get paid anything. But this is really the exact same idea as our sales tax was a while ago. And another way of saying what they have here is, if we have the price of something, then we can multiply that by their commission rate, and it will give you the amount of money that they are going to make, or their commission. Very similarly to the price times the tax rate equals the sales tax. Same exact concept. Okay, let's work a problem and see how this works. A salesperson's rate of commission is 4%. What is the commission from the sale of $300 worth of clothing? Well, again, it depends on how much she sold or he sold. So if they sell $300 worth of clothing and their commission rate is 4%, then remember we work with the decimal, so we need to change that over to 0 0.04. So 0 0.04 or 4% of 300 is what this person will take home from this sale. So when we multiply 300 times 0.04, we get 12. That means that that person is going to make $12 off of that $300 sale. All right, let's try another one. This one says a salesperson earns $150 selling $2,500 worth of television sets. What is the commission rate? Well, again, we can go with our same setup that if we know that the price times the rate equals their commission, as long as we have that understanding, then we can be given any two bits of the, the equation we can solve for the other one. So do we know the price here? Well, yes, we do. They've sold $2,500 worth of television sets, so that is the, t the total price there, $2,500. Now, the rate is what we don't know, and in fact, that's what we're solving for. So we're going to leave that as our unknown amount. Equals the commission. Well, this person earned $150 after the sale, so that's, that is their commission. Now, again, we know how to solve these. We've done this before. So instead of multiplying by 2,500, we can do the opposite, which is to divide by 2,500, and that will get x alone, because now those cancel. So here we have x equals 150 divided by 2,500 is 0.06. Remember, we're asking for the rate, which is a percentage. So once we have our answer, now we actually need to change that into percent form. So moving our decimal over two places, we get a commission rate of 6%. That really is saying 150 is 6% of $2,500, something that we've also looked at before.